Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing guys how you can improve your audio quality using Audacity. So if you're wondering why I actually made this tutorial again, because I, if you noticed, I made a, a, a tutorial like this uh, maybe half a year ago or something. Uh, it's because I realized that the, the technique I used in that video really doesn't make the audio sound that good. And I, I realized that, so I actually changed my whole technique of how I edit my audio. And I've been doing that for maybe the last three months or so or something. So, and, uh, so I wanted to show you guys how I edit my audio now because in my opinion, it sounds a lot better than my old tutorial. So that's why I'm making this updated tutorial. So, uh, the first thing you want to do is, of course, get your audio into Audacity. So this is something I also didn't cover in my tutorial on how to get your audio into Audacity. If you already use Audacity to record your, your audio, then that's fine. Your audio, your audio is already in Audacity. But if you're like a lot of people and you do gameplays or something like that, your audio is probably in the, in the file. So if you use like Fraps or OBS right here and your, your file is, you know, connected, in, to a video file, your audio is connected to a video file, so and you can't import it into Audacity. I recommend just you know putting your 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 video and audio file into your video editor. I have Sony Vegas. Uh, deleting just the video but keeping the audio and then rendering out just the audio and then you can import it into audacity or if there's another way to do it because with sony vegas uh, there's a feature where if you right click on the audio track press open copy in audio editor and it takes just the audio in, in audacity it doesn't like instantly so that's how i do it when i do my live com live gameplays and stuff but uh, that's a uh, problem that you have to figure out on yourself. This is not a tutorial that I might do in the future, but for now, this is just how to edit the audio, uh, you know, improve it uh, using Audacity. So here's the raw audio file. As you can see, the microphone is quiet, and I really recommend that. That's a good tip. You really want to undershoot the volume of your recording. Because if you make your recording too quiet, it's very, very easy to make it louder and you know make it sound better. But if you make your recording volume too loud, then it's, it's it's virtually impossible to take out all the distortion and all the clipping and stuff because Audacity is, is just a free program. And if there is distortion, it's you can't really take it out because it's already in the audio. Another thing I recommend is actually before you hit rec uh, you, before you start talking and stuff, uh, press the record button and leave out leave in maybe three or four seconds of just complete silence of you not talking make sure you of course you leave your microphone on because what you want to do is record and capture all the background or ambient noise you have so even if you have a really good microphone and you're in like a professional sound booth and you have virtually no background noise you still want to do this just in case and if you're using Audacity, you're probably, you know, on a budget anyway, since it is a free program and you probably have some, maybe your computer fan noise or something. So just uh, leave your, the recording, maybe at the start of the recording, uh, three seconds of just you not talking, but leave your microphone on so it captures all the background noise. So once you have that, your recording should look a little bit like this, of course, probably a lot longer. And this is what the raw recording sounds like with no edits whatsoever. Hey everyone, this is a voice test and I'm going to be showing you how you can make this audio improve uh, using Audacity. As you can hear, it actually sounds pretty fine, but uh, to me it sounds a bit muffled and stuff and not the you know not the best audio it can be. So this is how to improve it. So the first thing I like to do is compressor. So if you go to effects compressor there, these are all the settings I have. I think I just left it at default, but if your settings are different than these, uh, you can change it to exactly my settings. You can pause the video right now and change the parameters. Or if you actually know what you're doing, because I, um, to be completely honest, I'm not an audio expert or anything, so I'm not sure what the exact uh, uh, settings do. So if you know what you're doing, feel free to you know change it up how you want and how to make it sound good. You can actually preview it here to preview the audio. Hey everyone, this is a voice. So yeah. Um, you can hear a little bit of the start, but you won't hear the whole thing. It's just a preview. You can make the setting exactly my own or change it if you know what you're doing. Then press OK. And as you can see, it does change the audio drastically. It makes it, you know, a bit louder and the waveforms, you know, reach up to almost the, thre the threshold now. So the next effect I do is bass and treble. So also to select everything, you just highlight everything or you can press this gray bar here and it automatically selects, uh, all the audio. So yeah, so the next effect I do is uh, bass and treble. So I go to effect, bass and treble, and uh, these are the exact things I do. I actually do s about 6.2 for the bass, around there, or around six. I don't really add treble because it just makes it, if you add a bit too much, your S's become really harsh and stuff. Uh, so I just leave it at zero so it doesn't take away, it doesn't add. I really like adding bass though because it adds that nice radio announcer voice that I really like. Uh, you don't have to add level control, I just untick that 
and then you can preview it again, but I like just adding six decibels of bass, press OK. So what I'm actually gonna do is, I forgot to do it at the start of the video, I'm actually gonna have a duplicate of the audio, and, and this one right here on the bottom is gonna be the raw unedited audio, and this one is gonna be the edited, so we can compare it later on. So the next effect I like to do is uh, I go to equalization, and what I do is take away the the mids of the of the sound frequency. So if you don't know what you know EQ is or sound frequency, basically the higher the hertz here, that's the higher sound frequency, like the treble. The right side here is all the trebles, the left side here is all the bass, and the middle is the mids. What the mids is, it's like all the muffled town, like the telephone. So as you can see, if I select a curve and go to telephone, as you can see, it keeps only the mids. So this is a good way of knowing what the mids are. The mids, if I leave in only mids, it'll, it does that telephone muffle effect. Hey everyone, this is a voice test. So that's what the mids are. What I like to do is I do, like doing less mids. So what that does, it makes your voice a little bit clearer on the trebles and, and the basses. It doesn't add bass or treble, it just takes away the mids, basically. So what you can do is instead of going to draw, go to graphic, and it's actually bold here where you see a thousand hertz. Bring that down to about, as you can see on the line here, negative six decibels. And I like going on the left to negative 670 or 760 and bringing that down a bit to about uh, negative three, I guess, and bringing 1300 hertz to ne negative three two. Uh, and that, you know, will uh, decrease your mids and make your voice sound a lot better. Press OK. And now I think we only have one more. And what I like to do is actually uh, amplify it so that it's a bit louder. Uh, don't worry about if the audio is clipping. Uh, we'll fix that later. And this amplification really is, uh, you know, just up to you. If your volume is already like really high or something, you don't have to amplify it. You can bring it down if it is too high too. But I like to bring it up a bit just because I, I like volume in it. But, and if it's clips, don't worry, we're gonna fix that later on too. So bring it up a bit. And if this is grayed out, make sure you press apply, allow clipping because as you can see, if we uncheck that, we can't press OK because there's gonna, of course, gonna be clipping because it's gonna be too loud than the, you know, it's gonna be higher than the threshold there. So. I bring it up maybe at the start, maybe 1.3 decibels, allow clipping, then you press OK. So what that does is it makes it a little bit louder. You can make it as loud as you want, uh, but don't, of course, don't make it too loud. Don't go crazy and go like plus 20 or something. I go with a maximum three. I don't go higher than that. And I do it in increments, so I don't go too loud. You can always undo, uh, so that's a thing. I want, I'll do it one more time. So if you notice, there are points of the audio here, if we zoom in a bit, where the audio is just, you know, it goes up to the top and it peaks and the audio would kind of be a little bit distorted there. Not too much because I was talking sort of, you know, low and quiet, but I don't want it to go all the way to the top because it just, it, there's clipping and that makes it sound bad. So what I like to do is select everything. And the final effect to do is to go to effect uh, limiter and what this does is it cuts the audio at a decibel level. So make sure you press hard limit, press, you know, zero, put the input gain at zero, input gain right channel at zero, and the limit dB, this is where you want it. I like doing it at negative 0.5 and hold MS 10. Don't apply makeup gain. So now if you press OK here, as you can see, the audio is automatically cut off at the negative five decibel, not this one, that the negative five decibel, negative 0.5 decibel range, sorry. As you can see, it's not all the way top. If I undo it, as you can see, it's all the way high, but if I do it again, there now, it cuts it off. So it doesn't do much here because my audio was already pretty quiet. And uh, yeah, that's what that's how I sort of limit my uh, clipping. So last but not least, we're gonna take advantage of that three seconds of silence we recorded earlier. We're going to reduce all the background noise. So to do that, what you wanna do is highlight uh, the just background noise. You don't wanna highlight the whole thing. You wanna highlight just you know the 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 audio of you not talking and the only the background noise being recorded. So highlight that. Go to effect noise reduction, and don't do anything yet. Make sure, as you can see in step one, you have, it says select a few seconds of just noise so Audacity knows what to filter out. You got, what you wanna do is click get noise profile. So now it knows exactly what it has to filter out. Then just select everything again, go to effect, noise reduction, then you can change the settings. I like doing it at 15, six sensitivity and three frequency smoothing. I think I also left this at default, left these two of default, but I think I adjusted this to 15. Oh, make sure you have reduce, because if you do residue, they will leave only the background noise, so you don't want to do that. Make sure you do reduce, press okay, and you don't see much of a difference because my mic doesn't really pick up that much background noise to begin with, but I like doing it just so that there's zero. So as you can see now, if you play it, there's no green bar at all whatsoever, which is pretty cool. So now, Let's listen to the whole thing, which is edited. 
Hey everyone, this is a voice test and I'm gonna be showing you how you can make this audio improve uh, using Audacity. So that is what our audio sounds like, all edited and all sounding nice. So let's give a listen to the raw recording uh, with no edits whatsoever. Hey everyone, this is a voice test and I'm gonna be showing you how you can make this audio improve uh, using Audacity. Now listen to the new one. Hey everyone, this is a voice test and I'm gonna be showing you how you can make this audio improve uh, using Audacity. So I don't know if you guys heard that, I really recommend using headphones to hear the difference, but the old one sounds, you know, a lot thinner, a bit more muffled, and uh, not that much bass, and the new one, as you can see, even by looking at the waveforms, you notice a big difference, it's louder, there's more bass, there's less background noise, and uh, the voice is much clearer too, while adding more bass, which is really cool. So yeah, it was kind of a longer tutorial, I really wanted to go in depth, uh, with this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely leave in the comments below. And yeah, if it helped you out, leave a like, share it with your friends, and uh, tell them how you can also improve your audio for f completely free using Audacity. I really like using this program for recording and editing. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.